Hello artists, I hope you're having a good day today. For art class, we're gonna be learning about an idea called overlap, and I'm gonna be explaining more about that. And it might be something we've already talked about this year, but we're gonna work on it a little bit more. And we're gonna be creating a portrait of ourselves snorkeling underwater. I hope you're ready to have some fun. We're gonna be making a picture of ourselves underwater snorkeling. You might have seen someone snorkeling on TV or in a book, or maybe you've even tried it. So when you snorkel, you wear a mask, and then you use a tube that comes from your mouth, the snorkel, to breathe. So we're gonna work on that today. What you're gonna do is first, we're gonna start kinda up near the top here, and we're gonna draw kind of an oval shape to start. You're gonna do it really lightly. I'm gonna draw a little darker so that you can see it okay. And if you did, if you drew it a little bigger, that's fine. If you made it smaller, I'm gonna have you re redo it, make it a little bigger. All right, and then we're gonna add a neck. We're gonna have shoulders. Oops, it's not quite even. And then your arms are gonna go down like that. And if you're wearing a bathing suit on the top here, you're gonna have, we're gonna add a couple lines for a strap and over here for a strap over here. And then I'm gonna connect these two lines like that. But you can design it how you want. And maybe you wanna put a design on your suit too. Maybe you want some type of writing or maybe you want um, shapes on it to create a design. I think what I'll do is I'm gonna put some diagonal lines. All right, now back up here to the top. We're gonna add a mask. So we're gonna have a mask that overlaps the face. And what that means is when we say overlap, an object is on top of another object. This one is, it's because it's a mask, it's gonna be see-through. So we're gonna start up here and we're gonna draw a line that goes across and you can have it dip down a little or just go straight across, that's up to you. And we're gonna have it go out just a little bit past the edge of our face. And we're gonna do the same thing down here. Like that. And then we're gonna connect it on the sides. We're gonna erase this line of the head so it looks now like the mask is in front of the face. And we're gonna create another line here to create the edge of our mask. Like that. Now, inside the mask, we're gonna add our eyes. You can draw your eyes however you want. I'm gonna draw with two curvy lines and then two more curvy lines. And my iris and my pupil. So the iris is the color part and the pupil is the black part. And if you wanna use your pencil and just color the pupil in, go right ahead. We're gonna also add the nose in here and you can draw it sort of cartoon style or you can even make it look like it's kind of hidden in there or you know, like it's more realistic in there. And then we're gonna add our snorkel. So we're gonna have our mouth here 
And then the snorkel is kind of like the letter J. So it might be easier, easier to even start up here and go come down. And it can go, hmm, let's see. We might have to go on top of the mask a little bit like this. So let's see. And then I'm gonna do another line next to it. Whoops, got a little bit skinny there. I'll fix that. Oh no, I went a little too wide. There we go. Okay. And then I don't really like how the mouth looks now, so I'm gonna kind of fix it. You can kind of make it look like the mouth is open around it too. And then the parts where it went over the face, I need to just erase that so it looks like the snorkel is in front. Now, at the top, we're gonna have it look like it's open by just drawing a little oval. And we're gonna add some bubbles coming out of it because we're breathing under and little bubbles. And because this is gonna be at the very top of the water, oh, I guess you wouldn't really need the bubbles maybe, but we're gonna add a line that looks like the water, like this, so it's curving, like waves. And then we need some hair, so you can draw your hair however you want, if it's in ponytails or if it's short, if it's wavy, if it's curly, if it's braided, you can draw it however you want. I'm gonna kind of give mine some curl. I'm gonna erase this line in here because that looks kind of silly now once I add the hair. And then I have some hair that's growing down by my neck. There we go. And then we're gonna, oh, we can go back and add eyelashes. You can add eyebrows if you can see them where the mask shows. And then in the water, you get to draw whatever you want as far as underwater creatures like fish, or jellyfish, or a shark, or a turtle, or a seahorse. So it's up to you. And you can draw a couple if you want. So go ahead and work on that. I'm gonna make one. I'm gonna make a jellyfish look like it's, it's kind of off the edge of the paper here. Ooh. And like I said, if you want to draw any other, if you want to draw a little fish in the water, you can. It's up to you. Right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find whatever color I want to use for the water. And I'm going to color that in. So I'm going to start here. And I'm just going to start to color. And you can start to work on that part too.
you can go ahead and start working and coloring in the other areas of your project. I'm going to go ahead and continue working on mine. I'm almost done with my drawing. I'm just finishing up my jellyfish. And you should be working on the rest of your coloring. I'm looking forward to seeing all of your projects too. All the different sea creatures you came up with. When your portrait's all done, you're going to have everything colored in. Your skin, your bathing suit, if you have one on, you're going to have um, whatever animals you put in there and the water. Everything's going to be colored in. I can't wait to see them. Hope you had fun today. I'll see you next time.